2,600. the motor today making it so it didn't work as well and started making some noise I'm happy to talk why because there are people asleep this motor has 1,000 originally had 1,980 magnets in it it was made 15 years ago and the present version has 1,200 magnets in it I'm giving it the reduced output for this demo, and uh, anyway, there you go. It's really fantastic, yeah. It is uh, 11.43 a.m. Uh, in Greenwich Mean Time. He just started up the motor. He was waiting for the silicon adhesive to dry. It still is making some noise, um, same as last night. 
He's stopping it because of the noise. He was ages of break to stop the shaft. So it's under tension right now. The magnets are wanting to turn this thing. So when he releases that break, it'll start up again. It wasn't running that fast. It wasn't. It was running at 2,600 rp 2,600 rpm yesterday, and I would say it was at a thousand there just now, approximately. So um, we're not going to be looking at a continuous run today. We'll be having intermittent uh, demonstrations like we just saw because of the failure of the magnets, and he doesn't want to have a cascading. Uh, failure of the magnets inside. So tell you that magnet, the, the shaft would not be spinning like that if there was a motor in there. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to be interviewing these guys here in a second. In Slovenia, they have an excellent over... or a super efficient motor generator technology. So, uh, stay tuned for that one. We'll stop this inter or this video for now. We've been streaming live at yieldizdemo.com. That's Y I L D I Z D E M O dot com. Today is September, uh, April 12th, 11th, April 11th, 2013. We're in Geneva, Switzerland at the Inventors Expo at Pal Expo. So this is the first time you turn it on today. It's 10:49 uh, a.m. Green Moon time. Some students and some young people. It takes about four or five seconds for that thing to come to stop. It starts almost immediately, like say less than a fifth of a second. Myself, the full speed. The last time I had the was on show. He is just showing how the motor works. He starts it with, with connecting it with a... He just takes a, this little square piece of...
the third time he's run it today. It's uh, 4.44 Mountain Time. Just looked at the clock. It uh, would make it 12.44 uh, Greenwich Mean Time here locally in Geneva, Switzerland. This is uh, Mr. Yildi's Magnet Motor at the Geneva Expo, uh, Inventors Expo, at Pell Expo. Uh, the reason he's only letting it run for a short period is because a magnet, uh, three or four magnets came off of it on Wednesday. You can hear uh, it was getting louder and uh, some of the pieces went inside. He doesn't want to have a catastrophic failure with a bunch of pieces falling apart. Um, so he's only given brief demonstrations yesterday and today. Um, we were hoping to have this thing run continuously for five days, including through the evening and the night. Um, but that changed, but we're still getting some good evidence that this thing really is a magnet motor, including Professor Duarte saw inside and said there are no magnets in there. This, I mean, he said there are no batteries in there. This is an all-magnet motor. And there are 1,200 magnets in that thing, neodymium magnets. I was talking to Duarte and he said that the reason it equilibrates immediately is the feedback mechanism that keeps it from speeding to the structure. So that it's, it, it's got a, once it gets up to a certain speed, it stops accelerating. Otherwise it would accelerate to destruction. And that's why it, it, it equilibrates at a certain speed. So, uh, 
it's a combination of the magnets. It's a series of magnets. So you, when, you, when one of the magnets loses its position, then the uh, Start it balance again at will be this 308 MPM. Second, the third and the fourth and the fifth magnet will be broken and the motor loses its speed. So, uh, at night, when we go home now, we will open the motor, find the broken magnet, put a new magnet in. When you get this size, what is uh, more or less uh, power? You can, you can uh, go up to 100 horsepower with this machine. 100 horsepower. And that small one? Also, the similar. The size doesn't change anything. Mm. Only the power of the magnets.